In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make three different mug cakes. These are gonna be perfect for a sweet treat to kick off this fall season. All the recipes are gonna be linked down in the description box below this video, along with any links to work with me for mindset and weight loss coaching. All of these recipes are easy, low carb, and super delicious. Let's get started with recipe number one. Today is a great day because I'm gonna teach you how to make a low carb dessert, the peanut butter mug cake. This cake is amazing because not only does it come together in a few minutes, but it all cooks in the microwave, it's low carb, and you get a nice protein kick from the peanut butter. Let me show you the ingredients I'm gonna be using today. To start off, you're gonna need a coffee mug. Nothing crazy, you don't need an oversized mug, just a normal size is gonna do the job. Next, you're gonna need some peanut butter. I like to use all natural peanut butter. The only ingredients in here are peanuts and salt. You're gonna need one egg. We're gonna need your favorite sweetener. I'm going to use Truvia, that is mine. And you're gonna need a little bit of baking powder. First things first, peanut butter. I'm gonna add it right into the mug. I'm gonna make sure I get all of it out of here. Then, our sugar. Truvia is mine, my favorite. I'm gonna add in sugar here. Next I'm going to add in a little bit of baking powder. Before I add the egg in, I'm going to just get all of these ingredients incorporated with the peanut butter. Okay, Great. This is the consistency we're working with right now. When I add my egg in, I'm going to add it in whole, just like this, crack it right in, and then you're going to want to mix it for a good 45 seconds. We need everything to be thoroughly combined, and it's going to look like a batter. I'll show you what it looks like once I've mixed it for about 45 seconds. Here it is. Our batter is ready for the microwave. Now, I'm going to pop this into the microwave for 1 minute and 20 seconds. Your microwave times may vary. Just check on it after a minute and see what it looks like. My microwave needed a little bit longer, so I'm going to do 1 minute and 20. Then I'm going to let it just sit for a little bit because it's going to be very hot. Then I will meet you right back here and I will taste it and I will tell you how wonderful it is. Look how it puffed up and everything. I'm telling you, this is a perfect little sweet treat, low carb, and it is gorgeous. And you can even serve these, you know, at a, like for your friends. Like this is how cool this is. It's perfect like this. Eat it right out of the mug like this. But I can't help myself. I love whipped cream. I love it. You could just squirt it right on. That's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to taste this for you. Come on. <laughs> Seriously. Low carb, you don't have to deprive yourself. You could still have things. You just have to keep your portions in check and keep your ingredients in check. I'm going to go right and dive right into this. Look at that. Perfect cake-like consistency. Still pretty warm. but it is best right out of the microwave when it's nice and warm like this with some cold whipped cream. Oh, nothing better. Mmm. It's sinful. I'm serious. This is so good. Mmm. It's perfect. I don't know what else to say about it. It's a cake. It's peanut butter. It's great. Because now we're getting into the fourth quarter of the year. The leaves are starting to turn colors. It's starting to get a little chilly. Getting my Ugg boots out from the attic. Like it's time to get into the good comfort food. But we gotta watch our carbs. So today I'm gonna share with you a recipe that I created for a pumpkin pie mousse all made in a mug cake. Now this is so good. If you like pumpkin pie filling, you're gonna love this. It's not a mug cake. It's actually a little bit wetter than that. So it's I'm calling it like a warm mousse. You could eat it warm right out of the microwave, or you could actually chill it in the fridge and eat it as like like a what you might think are like a naughty like snack that's nice and chilled. Put some whipped cream on top, and literally you will think you're eating pumpkin pie. So don't deprive yourself this holiday season. Check back to my YouTube because I'm going to be doing a ton of low carb comfort food recipes, so you don't have to feel like you're depriving yourself. The recipe is so simple. Come on down here and let me show you what we got for this pumpkin pie mousse. So first, you're gonna need your utensils. You're gonna need a fork, and you're also gonna need a normal, just regular-sized coffee mug. 
Then, first ingredient, most important, is our canned pumpkin. Now this is 100% organic canned pumpkin. You can find it in the baking aisle at your grocery store. Just make sure you don't pick up pumpkin pie filling. It's gonna have extra sweeteners and spices that we don't really want. We wanna sweeten this and spice it ourselves. So then we have half and half vegetable oil, and then going around this circle here, in the front we have some Truvia, that's gonna be our sweetener, pumpkin pie spice, some baking powder, and some almond flour. Now make sure you use almond flour. I'm keeping this low carb, but I have tested this recipe with a couple different kind of flours, coconut flour to be one of them, and it does not come out the same. So make sure you grab yourself some almond meal, almond flour, you'll be good to go. So to start off, I'm actually just gonna put all of my dry ingredients, it's a good thing I put them in this bowl. We're gonna put them all in at once, and then we're just gonna give this a good mix with my fork, and then just to get them all combined. So you're gonna wanna mix this with your fork for like a good 20 seconds, and then it's all gonna be combined. You want all the spices, and actually, you can already smell the pumpkin pie spice, and I'm already getting ready to eat this because there's nothing better than cinnamon, nutmeg, everything that makes up a good pumpkin pie spice. And listen, you can make pumpkin pie spice yourself. There's so many uh, spice blends online that you can go and find, but really, for a couple bucks, you can get it already mixed and you know it's good to go, so that's what I usually do. I'm trying to cut corners here. I wanna make it as easy for me as possible. Okay, so now that all our dry ingredients are all mixed together, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the wet ingredients. So we have the vegetable oil going in first, then we have the half and half, Going in, and then actually before I add the pumpkin in, I'm gonna give this another mix. The most important thing when you're making anything in a mug is to make sure that it's thoroughly mixed because what happens is in the bottom of the mug, in these crevices, mine is a square, so it's even more difficult, but even on a circular cup, you know, mug, you're gonna have the flour and everything getting caught in those edges. So you wanna run your fork, and that's why I like using a fork, around the bottom and just loosen up, really loosen up everything on the bottom and get it mixed. So as you can see, this is really wet. The pumpkin's not gonna make it any more dry. It might, you know, it's gonna help make it nice and moist. So we have a really good pumpkin pie mousse. And it's the star of the show, where we get the most flavor. All right, great. Oh, you guys, look at this. So as you can see, I'm just trying to incorporate the pumpkin with all of the other ingredients. And right now it's really wet which is why this is not a mug cake, this is a mousse. So it's, it's gonna be amazing. All right, so I'm leveling it out, just making it look pretty on top. And then what I'm gonna do is pop this into the microwave for one minute and 20 seconds. My microwave's on high. Be careful, because your microwave might be different than mine, it might be more, it might be less. So once it comes out, I'm gonna let it sit, try to be patient, for about a minute, because I don't want to dig right in, it's going to be way too hot. So be careful, because microwaves really, really heat up stuff, especially wet ingredients like this. So I'm going to pop it in for a minute 20, meet you back here when it's been about a minute, so I can just try not to burn my mouth, and then I'll tell you guys how great it tastes and how I like to serve it up. Just like that, guys, we're ready to go. I just want to show you what it looks like. It's still cooling, but I'm very impatient, and I need to show you guys. So it has risen a little bit because of the baking powder that we used. It looks amazing. You can see all the pumpkin pie spice running through there. It smells out of this world because it's like a classic flavor that you expect to smell like around this time of the year. So the fact that I can still eat it and keep in my you know, low carb lifestyle, it's just, it's just amazing. It's just great. And I'm so glad that I get to share this with you guys. So let me show you how I like to serve it. Good old whipped cream, gotta have it. Gotta have it with anything like this, especially when you're used to having like pie. So what I'm gonna do is go around my mug and just do whipped cream. That's why I wanted to show you guys what it looked like beforehand because I'm covering it up with whipped cream now. And then I have a little bit of extra pumpkin pie spice here just to make it look pretty. I just love doing this. I just think it makes it look so elegant when you put a little bit of a sprinkle of spice on top of the whipped cream. So come in, take a look at what I'm about to dig into. See, I'm already ready to go. <laughs> but come in and take a look before I literally devour this. Going in. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. And you know what? The texture is just that of pumpkin pie filling. It's not falling off the spoon. It's literally amazing. Mm. It's nice and warm. Not too sweet. I think I'm just gonna go in, sorry guys. I 
I feel like I'm eating pumpkin pie. There's no crust, however, I'm not missing it because I actually feel like I'm like doing something bad right now. But this is low carb. This is amazing. I'm gonna show another mug cake today, a lemon poppy seed mug cake. Now when you're on a low carb diet, eating sweets, eating cake and everything is usually like a big no-no. However, this cake is actually low carb, some coconut flour here, and then I have some trivia here. We have a lemon, and then also I zested it beforehand, and then we're gonna use the juice from both sides of it. On this little plate here, we have a little bit of pinch of salt, some poppy seeds, and a little bit of baking powder. And here I have some vegetable oil and some water, and lastly, an egg. That's what's gonna hold everything together. So really, all it is is plop plop in the mug, and then we're gonna microwave it, and then that's really it, and then you get to enjoy this. So also the best thing about mug cakes is it doesn't take long before you have a craving and you get to eat it. So that's also one of my favorite parts about mug cakes. And I'm just gonna add, literally add all the dry ingredients right in here. And then I'm gonna take my lemon zest, put that in, get all that in there. The lemon zest is really great because it's really gonna be the pop to this dish. Really, really good. I shouldn't say dish, it's actually to this mug, mug cake. The lemon juice also is gonna make it nice and fresh. And using fresh lemon juice is the best thing to use in this case, so. Skip the bottled stuff, go get, buy yourself a lemon. All right, we got everything in there. And now that I have that all in there, I wanna give it a good mix, just to kind of get the lemon juice working throughout all the flour and everything. It's gonna be really dry at this point because we still have to add in our water and vegetable oil, which I'm going to do that, and then mix it one more time. And I'm doing everything right in this mug because I don't want any extra cleanup if I don't have to. Lastly, my egg, I cracked it into another dish just in case it was a bad egg. We don't wanna add that directly in here. So I know this one's good. We're plopping it in. Now to this, I'm going to break up the egg and mix this for about 45 seconds to a minute. And once I do that, I will show you what it looks like because you really, really, really wanna get this egg incorporated in everything. Otherwise, when you cook it, you'll get like kind of a scrambled egg kind of running through everything. So beat this mixture with your fork for about 45 seconds to a minute. All right, the reason that I like to beat it that long is because you wanna kind of fluff up the egg and this is gonna make a really nice fluffy batter for us. And in the process, you wanna take your fork and go all around the bottom because the coconut flour can get stuck right in these little crevices and then when you get to the end of your cake, you got this flour on the bottom, you don't want that. So now that I've mixed it for that long, I'm just going to take my finger and get all of the batter just nice and flat on top there, just like that. That's what we're working with. So I'm going to pop this into my microwave and I will meet you back here when it is done and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm so ready to eat this, guys. It smells amazing. I had my mug cake in the microwave for three minutes and then I just let it sit out for like a good five minutes just to cool down because the mug is still, actually it's still pretty hot. So inside it's gonna be hot too. So calm yourself, let it sit, don't burn your mouth <laughs> because you will. Even after five minutes it's still actually pretty hot. Look at that steam, look at that cake. This is amazing and I'm telling you, when I'm craving cake I need it and this is a perfect low carb substitute for when I'm craving everything sweet and dessert-like. Mm. It's almost like a lemony pound cake. Mmm, wow. The burst of lemon freshness in this is amazing. It's so light, it's so fresh, it's so easy, and it's so quick. Oh yeah, and it's low carb. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys really soon with a new video. Bye.